What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm bringing you guys a deck that I haven't done in a long time. However, I think it can actually be very competitive in today's format and that is Go Second OTK Cyber Dragon. This deck is really, really cool because the Cyber Dragon cards themselves are board breakers. You can play a lot of the most broken cards in the game in this deck. So I think this deck is very underrated in today's format. But if you guys do enjoy these deck profiles, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. Or if you guys want to see combos, pack openings, all that kind of stuff it's all going to be on the channel so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate everyone who subscribed everyone who's joined the journey so far and with that guys i don't want to keep you too long so let's get into the deck profile okay so just before we start today's video there has been a little glitch in the matrix because i've been getting a bunch of comments that are saying but this version of the deck is better than this version of the deck guys i'm not showing you that version of the deck i'm showing you this version of the deck so in this version we are showing you guys a cyber dragon otk deck profile so in the comment section if I see, oh, but the trap deck is better. Okay, I'm not showing you guys a trap deck, but if you guys do want to see the trap deck though, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below and I can maybe do the trap deck for you guys. But I am showing you guys an OTK deck profile in today's video. I know a lot of decks have different ways you can play it. And realistically, there's a million different decks in Yu-Gi-Oh and I'm trying to get to them all. That's literally why I upload five days a week for you guys. But I just want to let you guys know that I want to give to everyone in the community. So anyone who's interested in an OTK Cyber Dragon deck profile, well, you've come to the right place because this is exactly what today's video is. So with that being said, let's get into the deck profile. We are starting off with three Cyber Dragon Core, of course, your best normal summon of the deck. The nice thing about the Cyber Dragon Core is not only is it your best normal summon of the deck, and you can say this about all the Cyber Dragon monsters in your deck, but essentially not only do they have their own inherent value, they also are all semi board breakers. Your opponent puts anything in the extra monster zone, boom, contact fuse. Your opponent plays machine monsters, which are very relevant in today's format with Regulus and the ABC Therion builds, all those kind of decks boom contact fuse so that's a really nice thing about this deck is the cards themselves are kind of just inherent board breakers so yeah core of course is a three of three cyber dragon for the exact same reason that i just said also you do want to go second with this deck so for that reason you are just going to want to be able to special summon a free cyber dragon for you it's never a bad thing then you are playing three cyber dragon hers of course this card is insanely powerful it's really good to pitch off your hand it has a lot of uses but again it's just a board breaker at the end of the day which is really really nice with this deck then two nashter nashter is actually a really good extender for you especially once you break your opponent's board this kind of helps you push through an OTK, so I really like Nash Chart 2 here. Then we're playing two Galaxy Soldier as well as one GZ Kiru. Now, Galaxy Soldier, I still like playing in this deck. Again, I know there's gonna be people who are like, Oh, but you can play Therion's in this deck. Now, there are actually you, there are builds with Therion. However, for the OTK deck specifically, I still really do like the Galaxy Soldier. Keep in mind, Galaxy Soldier is searchable with something like a repair plant, which is really, really nice. But on top of that, it gives you access to something like a Cyber Dragon Infinity, which is nice because this card can also suck up monsters your opponent controls, which can help you OTK as well. It's also an Omni Negate for you, so yeah, I really, really like Galaxy. Galaxy Soldier, of course, still at two. Juicy Cure is also a searchable card that can just break opponent's board. So the nice thing about this deck and everything I've shown you guys so far is they all have their own inherent uses, but they're all also board breakers. So that's a really cool thing about this deck. I really think this deck is underrated in today's format just for that reason. The fact that this deck just has so many good matchups and it doesn't really have any bad matchups. So then moving on to the hand traps here, we are playing nine hand traps total. We're playing three Ash Blossom, of course, three Ash, just the most generic one is very, very important. Three Nibiru, because specifically in today's format, Nibiru is actually very, very powerful. It's actually really good into a lot of the punk decks, and that's one of the most prevalent decks in the format today, but just Sword Soul and just so many other meta decks in today's format, Nibiru is really good into. However, again, the nice thing about this deck, like I said, is everything has multi-use. It's also a light monster, which means you can also pitch it off the Galaxy Soldier if you need to. So worst case scenario, it's just something that you can pitch off the Galaxy Soldier. This card is insanely powerful powerful and you're also putting a big body on your side of the field which can help you otk so nibiru is just really really powerful of course and three imperm these are just i think the best three hand traps that you can play in this deck it's very very relevant now keep in mind if you guys are ever watching this video in the future ghost ogre is also a really good hand trap that you guys can play in this deck however ghost ogre i think in today's format specifically is not that great or it's not that it's bad it just i think nibiru is more impactful so that's why i'm playing nibiru here but again ghost ogre is a light hand trap that you guys can play for galaxy soldier as well so different uses in different time periods you can do that as well but for this build we are playing nibiru three imperm perm as well and that's it for the hand trap so the really nice thing about this deck not only does it break a lot of your opponent's boards but it also stops your opponent from making a lot of boards so that's why i really like these nine hand traps then we're playing three cyber emergency of course this deck is super consistent and i will say one thing just before we continue you guys can see here we're not playing prosperity now prosperity is an insane card because the nice thing about pros is it gets you into your board breakers that you might need it also might get you into your combo pieces however prosperity makes it so that you can't otk and you really want to focus on otking with this deck so for that reason we're not 
not playing prosperity however this deck is still very very consistent again you guys are going to see with three cyber emergency it's going to search any of your cyber dragon cards then you have three machine dupe and i'm going to be honest with you if machine dupe resolves you're winning the game if this card resolves you are not losing the game 100 percent of the time you're winning the game so the nice thing about machine dupe is you don't have to always shotgun the machine dupe you can try to bait out other negates i mean let's say you open a lightning storm and then you go okay activate lightning storm your opponent is going to be forced to negate it a lot of the time so it's like okay well now my machine dupe is going to go through of course your opponent's not always going to have just one disruption but i just want to show you guys an option where it's kind of like you can try to bait out all those negates and disruptions and then just go machine dupe and you're winning the game if machine dupe resolves and then we're playing one rev system one repair plant only one repair plant this card's searchable this card requires setup unlike something like you know your cyber emergency which just searches you a card i guess you can argue machine dupe requires setup because you need a monster however the nice thing about machine dupe is you just need any monster that you can normal summon and also this card is just way too powerful to not play three of something like repair plant though does require something in your graveyard and so the best way to get this essentially is with your core because then you can link off the core and then get to your repair plant get to galaxy soldier etc etc so that's why of course you want to be playing the one of i just think one of is perfectly fine cyber load fusion this card is insane so we're playing one of this and this card is super super powerful going second in the battle phase you activate this card you make cyber twin dragon insanely powerful card a monster that's 2800 that can attack twice in the battle phase insanely powerful cyber load is very very good you need to be playing one of this and then i know this is an otk deck however we are still playing one cybernetic overflow and the main reason for this is because yes you are really really trying to focus on otking however there are going to be situations where you don't otk you look at your hand and you're like okay listen i can break my opponent's board but i can't guarantee that i'm going to otk my opponent this turn so what you do is instead of searching a lot of the spells like cyber load or cyber repair plant you can search a cybernetic overflow and now you've broken your opponent's board you can set up your own board and then overflow again is going to be another form of disruption so i still like playing the one of even though it's an otk build i still think this card is insanely powerful it's too strong to not play the one of especially if you are also forced to go first this card is also really good so yeah of course the one overflow and then we're playing one harpy's feather duster these are the board breakers here so we're playing one harpy's feather duster three landing storm and three forbidden droplet now forbidden droplet i think is just self-explanatory this is actually probably one of the best board breakers in the game today so this card is really really important to play in this deck it also just works really well in this deck because not only can you send cards that are already set on your side of the field so let's say you activate something like a machine dupe and they have like a monster negate on their field where they're like okay i'm gonna negate machine dupe you can go forbidden droplet activate this card send your machine dupe negate the monster's effect machine dupe is going to resolve that monster's attack is also halved which is also really nice about this card because having your opponent's monsters attack means that you can also otk a lot easier so this card is insanely nuts it just got a reprint it's going to get another reprint in the mega tins i know this is technically i guess the most expensive card in the deck i guess and this card is kind of pricey the rest of the deck is i guess more or less budget but uh yeah forbidden droplet just got a reprint gonna be getting another reprint which is really really nice and then yeah lightning storm of course we all know how good this card is front row matchups back row matchups lightning storm is really good so yeah i really like these ratios i don't think i changed these up these are really really powerful and that's it for the deck it's 40 cards on the dot again like i said you guys can play pros like i know a lot of builds used to play pros i don't think it's necessary in today's format just because again you are trying to otk you were focused on that aspect of the deck so yeah we're not playing any draw cards the deck is very very consistent as it is right so 40 cards that's it now we're gonna go into the extra deck here and you guys might be wondering but spanko you only have 14 cards in your extra deck where's the 15th card okay so i wanted to talk about that essentially when i was testing this deck that 15th card never mattered and what i mean by that is i tried a bunch of different things as the 15th card but i never really came into a situation where you needed any of those cards so i'm gonna say this there are 14 cards in this extra deck i'm gonna give you guys some options later as to what the 15th card can be but keep in mind the 15th card can really be anything you guys want because in testing really these are the only cards that came up so as long as you're playing these 14 cards I think whatever the 15th card is is really up to personal preference. So to start off, we are playing the one Mega Fleet. Of course, Mega Fleet is really important because this is essentially what makes all your Cyber Dragon cards board breakers. Same thing with your Fortress Dragon. Again, you're just breaking so many boards with just these cards because of these two cards. Now, for the 15th card, at one point I was playing a second Mega Fleet. However, I noticed in testing I never actually really needed the second Mega Fleet because you're only ever making this if you're just like grinding out your opponent. But again, you don't really want to play for three, four, five, six turns with this deck. So that's why I never really made this second mega fleet so you could play a second one because in theory it can be really really good but it doesn't come up as often as you would think then we're playing of course like i said one fortress dragon one rampage dragon this card helps you otk as well as one cyber twin dragon a lot of people might be asking me why aren't you playing overload fusion overload fusion was really good when we had verite because you could send it but playing overload fusion now is kind of tough because you have to play multiple of them if you want to see it and if you're only playing the one you're never really going to see it anyways but cyber twin dragon is really good with cyber load fusion because again in the battle phase you just make cyber twin dragon it can attack twice it's 2800 this card is insanely nuts so yeah that's it for the fusion monsters we're playing the four here then for the ixies monsters we're playing the one zeus of course one volcasaurus now this card could essentially be any rank five monster i actually really like volcasaurus myself because if you are going into time funny enough 
You can make Volcasaurus, pop a card your opponent controls, then let's say you make Infinity, attack one of your opponent's monsters, then this card can attack actually directly the turn you activate the effect to pop a card and burn your opponent, because it does burn damage, which is really nice, right? So that's what I mean. In time, this is really good. But the nice thing about this card is even if it can't attack directly, let's say you attack with an Infinity or a Nova, let's just say most likely Infinity, right? Then you could just slap the Zeus on top of the Volcasaur, because Zeus doesn't actually need to be slapped on top of the card that attacks. It just as long as an Ixies monsters attack, you can essentially use an Ixies monster you control for this card. So that's a really cool thing about Zeus, right? I don't know if you guys knew that, but that's a really cool thing about Zeus is you don't actually need to make it over the card that attacked. As long as it's another Ixies monster, you can make it over the Volcasaur, which is really nice. So I really like the Volcasaur. Another one you guys can play was Vespanite. I didn't like Vespanite too much. In testing, I thought it was cool, but the thing is you can't use it as an Ixies material to turn it was Ixies summoned. So that means you can't use it actually for Zeus after you attack with it. So it was kind of like an iffy card. Card's okay, but I don't know. It's just another option for you guys. Then we're playing two Infinity as well as two Nova. These, of course, are mandatory and self-explanatory. This is Cyber Dragon. You have to be playing these cards. Then we're playing one Seeger. Again, a card that's very mandatory in Cyber Dragon. One Link Karibo, one Elmer Mirage as well as one Anima. Anima and then Karibo specifically are for hers. However, All Mirage is really nice because you can also go core into All Mirage. Now, Anima is a really good card because it is a board breaking card for you. So that's why this card is also really powerful. But the nice thing about All Mirage and then Karibo is it gets the cards to your graveyard so that you can now activate your repair plant and you'll have something in the graveyard for it. That's why you want to be playing these Link ones. They're very, very important to play. And then again, as for a 15th card, another option that I tested out was Lina. All your cards are light monsters. You guys can make Lina. But the thing is, the more I played this card, the more I was like, when am I ever making it like if i'm ever making lina i'm in a losing position yes she has a really cool effect if she's destroyed she searches a light monster with 1500 or less defense aka you can search a core you can search a hers you can search an ashter it's really really powerful however i kind of noticed i'm like when am i making this if i'm not losing the game essentially right so it's really up to you what the 15th card is honestly maybe the second mega fleet could be the best option but honestly like i said it could be anything as long as you're playing these 14 cards these are the most important 14 cards i think the deck is very very consistent i think it can break through essentially any board in today's format and that's what i really really like about cyber dragon so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy now this is my take on the go second otk cyber dragon deck profile this deck is really really powerful it can break through essentially every single board keep in mind that if you guys want to see it going first build let me know in the comment section down below because then maybe i can make that happen for you guys so i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh deck profiles combo videos product openings all that kind of stuff it's all going to be on the channel thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you and with that spanko signing out peace